Now we're going to talk specifically about each stage. The first one is activate and develop background knowledge. It includes getting students interested about that genre. It's important that they connect that genre to their life. We also want to know what they know about this genre. Do they have the pre-skills to begin? Do they have the vocabulary necessary to proceed? We are also going to read and discuss models during this stage to try to activate what they already know and fill in those gaps. After we assess their skills, we're going to begin teaching the strategy or a mnemonic. And then we're going to briefly introduce in this stage the self-regulation and goal-setting strategies. We want to assess what the students know. And if we can trigger information they already have and they produce it when we pre-assess, that saves us time and we're not teaching them something they already know. Some of the important aspects of second stage discuss it are we discuss the significance and benefits of the self-regulation strategies that we want to develop. We want to focus on students current writing and self-regulation abilities, what they say to themselves, their attitudes and their beliefs about writing. All of the steps in the writing process are discussed, including mnemonics and goals. A key premise in SRSD is that we want mastery of skills and we expect it. We use models and we use graphic organizers to help students determine the difference between an effective and an ineffective essay. It's also critical at this stage to build collaborative partnerships and to get student commitment to the task. In the Discuss It stage, we actually go through all of the tasks that we keep repeating over and over again later. So these are the important ideas, the basis, it sets this groundwork that we built in stage one even deeper and embeds it into students' thinking so that when we get to the stage three, which is modeling these ideas, these concepts, they'll have a knowledge of them before the teacher starts to model. The different aspects of model it are that the teacher uses interactive modeling. In other words, they back and forth with the students or a full collaborative lesson. And they, they do these modelings with planning the writing, actually writing, and then the self-regulation strategy should be embedded. The teacher will think aloud while planning and writing an actual composition and throughout that thoughtfully use self-regulation strategies. They will use language that's natural and most important, enthusiastic. The important aspects of Memorize It are that teachers want to ensure here that they've memorized the strategy. We begin memorizing in stages one through three. But we take some time during the stage to verify that students have memorized the steps. Basically, we want students to internalize the strategy using the mnemonic and personalized self-statements. This stage is important, especially for struggling students. And if they don't have it internally, when they're out, in other classes or they're having their state test and they're asked to write a certain kind of essay, if they haven't memorized it, they're not going to be able to use it. Aspects of the supported stage that are important are the need for teacher scaffolding of the strategies that have been previously taught in stages one through three. The teacher also provides as much support as is needed for students to attain their goals. There will also be collaborative writing, development of self-statements, and this is where we really think about generalization of skills. Stage six, the independent stage, is what we're all working for. We provide an opportunity to move students who have not already switched from that overt to covert writing. The use of graphic organizers and self-instruction planners is usually not necessary for the majority of students, so this is where they fade out. Our goal is to have students independently update their own self-regulation plans. Generally, this stage continues the fading of scaffolds from stage five to complete independence. Work in this stage also ensures that transfer to other environments is implemented. The research is really clear that in order for students to be successful and independent, that they have to we have to gradually release the responsibility of instruction to them. And we do this by introducing, modeling, and then the collaborative writing and planning, and then eventually they do it themselves.